Sun Tzu for Ghost Gamers here, and I, I have with me S4, captain of Team Alliance, and they've just beaten Liquid 3-0. Um, first of all, hello and welcome to the interview. Thank you for having me. <laughs> How do you feel right now? Did you expect to go 3-0 against Liquid? No, I think we expected to drop a few games, like test them out. Because uh, we lost against them in MLG, so it was a surprise. Indeed. Um, you also sort of changed up your draft a little bit. It wasn't quite what we've seen the last uh, few weeks. Um, what was the thinking going into that? Uh, we put we put a lot of thoughts about the games we lost, and uh, we've been uh, talking about like being predictable and stuff so we're, we're changing up we're um, like me playing OD and stuff you don't see that very often and Shadowfiend and I think it's very healthy for the draft later on yeah definitely um, now I've been talking a bit about sort of uh, the roles changing with the new metagame and sort of the 2-1-2 two, two that we see a lot now your team was already playing a very heavy farming offlaner long before the other team started doing it. Um, how come we haven't seen as much 2-1-2 out of your team yet as we have from the other teams? Mm, we've, been, uh, we've been trying a lot of bounty, windrunner, offlane, but it only works when they have a jungle most of the times. And uh, we don't experiment that much uh, with lanes, but... Uh, uh, having a farm support in the last patch it was much harder than having a farm support this patch because you had to make use of all the pulls and stuff in the last patch. You don't need to do that this patch. Yeah, that's true. Um, also, the heavy tournament schedule is something that's on everyone's mind right now. Um, I know you guys have been, you worked really hard leading up to TI3. And uh, is there some fatigue going on in the team right now? Mm, yeah, I honestly, there's a little bit. But um, I think going into this liquid match, we got some of the spirit back we had from international. And it uh, feels really good right now. Yeah, well, that's cool. That's cool. Um, now, what sort of... Uh what sort of stuff can we expect from Alliance? Are you gonna do? You, do you have something special planned for Navi? Hmm. Yes, uh, aggression. I think that's the way you beat Navi. The easiest way to beat Navi is aggression. The hardest way is probably play, uh, let them take control, and uh, you know what happens when they take control. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true, and. Uh, now, you've had a, a poor run against Navi when it really matters lately. Um, is that something that's weighing on your mind going to this? I mean, you, you, you'll have the home crowd behind you this time around, uh, so it's, it's a bit more advantageous for you, but still. Mm, I think having these best of fives is really good for, for us, I think, because uh, we, can, we can try stuff. like. We, we're, we're a bit scared of trying new stuff when it's like best of one, best of threes. Like MLG was best of ones. Like it's really scary to just pull out, uh, you know, Pagna that we haven't used that much. Doom, you know, D Doom, DK, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so what's what's next after, uh, after Dreamhack for you guys? Um, you're headed to EMS1. Are you going to get in time to get home and relax before that, or is it just straight to a boot camp and then to Poland? Mm, I think everyone wants to start practicing again, so probably going to have like one day break and then just go practice full out 
because uh, this patch is really interesting and I don't think we grasped the patch yet. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, it's been a nice interview and I'll let you uh, get some rest for tomorrow's games. Um, any last words? Uh, yeah, shout out to my team, uh, Alliance, and uh, our sponsors, XMG, Monster, and Razer. Cool, and uh, thanks for tuning in.